Today it's raining as hell, so there is nothing better to do than going to hide ourselves in the Otago Museum. It's not a little bit of rain that's gonna stop us to enjoy 365 activities during our awesome gap year. <laughs> so today, despite the rain, we are heading to the awesome Otago Museum. It's a really fun hands-on museum where there is heaps to do for big and small kids like us. In the midst of all the stuff to play with, there is one thing that grabs my attention. It's a massive pipe with some gas inside which responds to music and basically visualizes the sound wave. It's really awesome and I only know of one song that will fit best. That's a pretty epic attraction for a museum, isn't it? We are now moving on to the Discovery World Tropical Forest, which is my personal favorite part of the Otago Museum. And if you arrive here at 11 a.m., you actually get to see the release of the first flights from butterflies that have newly emerged from their pupa stage. And when the butterflies get released, they basically want to cling on to the nearest thing they can find, which is me in this instance. But this actually gives us a really awesome perspective of the butterfly, super close up. And there's so many arrays of beautiful colors. This whole room is filled with hot air, making it like an artificial tropical environment that I certainly do not want to leave today. It is super warm in here. But apart from all the beautiful butterflies around us in their amazing colors, there's also a really awesome waterfall halfway through the gardens and lots of different viewing platforms as well where we can watch the butterflies feeding. At the bottom of the tropical garden there is something really awesome. It's a breeding room. This is where we get to see the butterflies coming out of their chrysalids and becoming, well, a butterfly. It's really awesome and it's something that I've personally never seen in my life. It's a really cool thing to add to a tropical garden. And because you need to create in any garden kind of an ecosystem, there is also a few birds roaming around. After all, we're in New Zealand, aren't we? After the tropical garden, Laura and I move on to a guided tour of the rest of the museum collections. During these treasures of the museum tour, we're going to be going over every single one of the collections of the museum and seeing some of their highlights and get a little bit of an insight from our tour guide. It's a really awesome way to tour the museum without having to spend about 7 hours going through everything. The tour starts in the Pacific Cultures Gallery, which is a really fascinating gallery about how these isolated islands have become populated with such rich cultures. We see all sorts of different artifacts from the islands and really interesting ways that they use currencies on the islands as well. Of course, there are a few exhibitions which are more closer to New Zealand home called the Tangata Benua exhibition showing how the southern iwis of New Zealand live compared to those in the North Island. We then move on to Animal Attic which displays animals in accordance to the Victorian theory of evolution which is going from simple to more complex animals. And then we move on to the Maritime Exhibition of the Otago Museum. We then move on to the next exhibition which includes a massive fossil of a plesiosaur. This is actually New Zealand's largest fossil and was found in Shack Point which is in the Catlins where we were only a few days ago. The next part of the museum includes a really hairy goat as well as a stuffed royal albatross. This is because Dunedin is home to the largest mainland colony of royal albatross which is in Tyrora Head where we're going to be going only in a few days when we're visiting the albatross centre. 
It's time for us to head out, brave the element and make our way back toward the Hogwarts Hostel. There's an elephant in the room. Or more specifically, a whale in the room. Because in the middle of the room there's this huge... <laughs> in the middle of the room there's this huge skeleton of a fin whale. Um, and this is only a baby. It's 17 meters long and... You, again, it's another animal you don't really appreciate the size of until you get this close to its body parts. <laughs> um.